Hello, my name is Dermot. Um, I've been asked to do a poem for you, for all the lovely people at Body and Soul. And um, before I do, I just want to say, um, I hope you're doing okay. I know, um, I know what the charity does, and I know the people it reaches out to, and I hope you are all as good as you can be in getting through this, and fingers crossed, we're at the other side of it. Um, we will be living in a world where people are a bit more civil and a bit more understanding and a bit more tolerant with each other. So um, anyway, that aside, um, I was asked to do a poem, so I have a poem with me. Well, I'm going to try and remember it as best I can. My favourite poet is a chap called W.B. Yeats, and um, he's an Irish poet. When I was growing up, my dad uh, read some fairy stories, Irish fairy stories to me, in fact, I have them here. I just found them, just digging them out. And, um, and then when I got into poetry, I was about 15, 16, studying English. Firstly, got into First World War poetry. Don't worry, I'm not going to do one of those for you. But, um, and Yeats just, uh, did a, a beautiful um, uh, piece of poetry called An Irish Airman for Caesar's Death. And once again, I ain't, I'm not going to go there, don't worry. But um, So, he's a beautiful poet and he uh, deals in these kind of mystical, wonderful lands, certainly when he was a younger man. Uh, and sees Ireland in that kind of, you know, lovely, uh, almost pagan-like way of fairies and um, and the land coming alive. It's a beautiful poet, a beautiful poem. This is called uh, The Stolen Child. Where dips the rocky highland, a slothwood in the lake. There lies a leafy island where the flapping herons wake the drowsy water rats. There we hid off fairy vats, full of berries and the reddest stolen cherries. Oh, come away, you human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Where the wave of moonlight glosses the dim grey sands with light, far off by furthest rosses we footed all the night, mingling arms and mingling glances till the moon had taken flight, to and fro we leap. Chasing frothy bubbles while the world is full of troubles and is anxious in its sleep. Where the wandering water rushes, the hills above Glencar, in pools amongst the rushes that scarce could bathe the star, we seek for slumbering trout and whispering in their ears give them unquiet dreams, leaning softly out from ferns that drop their tears over the young stream. Away with us he's coming, the solemn eyed. He'll hear no mother lowing on the calves on the warm hillside, or the kettle on the hob sing peace into his breast, or watch the brown mice bob around and around the uphill chest. Oh, come away, you human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand.